Hello and welcome back to Edu Skills OET Made Easy. In today's video, we are going to dive into a fundamental aspect of English grammar, question words. Whether you are preparing for the OET or just looking to improve your English, understanding question words is essential. So, let's get started. Question words, also known as interrogative words, are used to ask questions that help us gather specific information. They are the words that begin questions like who, what, when, and more. Each question word has a unique purpose, and today, we'll explore them one by one. Alright, let's start with one of the most commonly used question words, who. This is a powerful word in the English language, as it helps us identify the person or people involved in a particular situation. Understanding how to use who effectively is essential, whether you are asking simple questions in daily life or formulating complex queries in a professional setting. We use who to ask about a person or people. For example, who is your teacher or who called you last night? It's all about identifying the person involved. Now, let's talk about how to use the question word who in OET letter writing. This might seem basic, but who plays a crucial role in structuring your letter effectively, especially when you need to convey key information about people involved in the patient's care. In OET letters, who helps you focus on the individuals who are central to the case you are discussing. Whether it's the healthcare professionals, the patient, or the patient's family members, identifying who is essential to ensure clarity and proper communication. Example 1. Identifying the health care provider. Let's say you are writing a referral letter. You might need to explain who the patient was seen by before or who is taking over the care. For instance, Mr. Smith was initially seen by Dr. Brown at the cardiology clinic. Here, who, that is Dr. Brown, is crucial as it tells the reader exactly which specialist has been involved in the patient's care. Example 2. Highlighting the patient's family. In some cases, it's important to mention who in the patient's family is responsible for their care or decision-making. For example, Mrs. Taylor's son, John Taylor, is her primary caregiver. This use of who provides vital information about the support system around the patient. Example 3. Referring to specialists or services. When making a referral or requesting further management, clearly stating who you are addressing or who will be involved next is key. For example, please refer Mr. Adams to Dr. Green, a neurologist, for further evaluation. In this sentence, who refers to Dr. Green, the specialist who will take over the patient's care. In OET letter writing, clarity is paramount. Misidentifying or omitting who can lead to confusion. Imagine a situation where it's unclear who is responsible for a specific task or aspect of care. It could result in a delay in treatment or miscommunication. That's why it's important to clearly state who throughout your letter. A common mistake is being to wade when using who. For instance, writing something like the patient was advised to see a specialist is not as clear as specifying who the specialist is. Always aim to provide as much relevant detail as possible. So, remember, in OET letter writing, who isn't just about asking questions, it's about clearly identifying the key players involved in the patient's care. This makes your letter more informative, professional, and easy to follow. What is next? What helps us ask about things, actions, or specific information? You might ask, what is your favorite book or what are you doing? Notice how we are asking for specific details. Now, let's move on to another crucial question word in OET letter writing, what. 
This word is particularly useful when you need to ask or provide specific details about a patient's condition, treatment, or any relevant actions. In the context of OET letters, what helps you to focus on the specifics, whether it's about the patient's symptoms, the treatment plan, or any actions that need to be taken? Using what correctly ensures that you convey clear and precise information, which is essential for effective communication in healthcare. Example 1. Asking about symptoms or conditions. When writing about the patient's condition, you might need to specify what symptoms they are experiencing. For example, Mrs. Jones has been experiencing chest pain and shortness of breath for the past three days. Here, what identifies the specific symptoms that are relevant to the patient's condition? Example 2. Specifying treatment or actions. When outlining the treatment plan, what helps you detail the actions that need to be taken? For instance, Mr. Brown was prescribed 5 mg of amlodipine to be taken once daily. In this case, what is used to specify the exact medication and dosage? Example 3. Clarifying tests or procedures. You might also need to explain what tests or procedures were performed or are recommended. For example, a CT scan was performed to rule out any underlying conditions. Here, what clarifies the specific test that was conducted to aid in diagnosis? In OET letter writing, precision is key. What allows you to provide the exact details that the reader needs to understand the patient's situation and the steps that have been or need to be taken? This clarity is crucial in ensuring that the patient receives appropriate care. Avoid being too vague when using what. For instance, Writing something like the patient was given medication is not as helpful as specifying what medication was given and in what dosage. So, in your OET letters, always use what to drill down into the specifics. Whether you are talking about symptoms, treatments, or tests, providing detailed information will make your letter more informative and easier to understand. When is used to ask about time? Whether it's a date, day, or time of an event, when helps us pinpoint exactly when something happens. For example, when is your birthday, or when did they arrive? In OET letter writing, when helps you specify the timing of events, symptoms, treatments, or appointments. Providing accurate time details is crucial because it helps the reader understand the sequence of events and plan the patient's care accordingly. Example 1. Timing of symptoms or conditions. Let's say you need to describe when a patient first noticed their symptoms. You might write, Mrs. Johnson first reported symptoms of nausea and dizziness two weeks ago. Here, when tells us the time frame for when the patient began experiencing these symptoms. Example 2. Timing of treatment or actions. When detailing treatment or actions taken, when helps specify exactly when these occurred. For example, the patient received their first dose of medication on 15th July. This use of when clearly indicates the date of the treatment, which is important for tracking the patient's progress. Example 3. Scheduling of appointments or follow-ups. You might also use when to mention scheduled appointments or follow-ups. For instance, a follow-up appointment has been scheduled for 5th August. Here, when provides the date for the next appointment, which helps in planning the patient's ongoing care. Accurate time details are crucial in OET letters. Using when effectively ensures that the reader knows exactly when symptoms appeared, treatments were given, or appointments are due, leading to better coordination and understanding. A common mistake is being vague about timing. For example, 
Saying the treatment was given recently is less clear than specifying the treatment was given on 15th July. Always aim to be precise with your time references. So remember, using when properly in your OET letters helps you provide clear and precise information about time-related aspects of patient care. This clarity is key to effective communication. If you found this explanation helpful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more OET writing tips. And if you have any specific questions or scenarios you'd like me to cover, leave them in the comments below. I'm here to help you excel in your OET exam.